The Württemberg region. The large cities of Heilbronn and Stuttgart are wine centers. Otherwise, viticulture revolves around the Neckar and its tributaries. Great German poets and philosophers such as Schiller and Hölderlin grew up here amidst the vineyards. Would they have been as inspired by the muses without this glorious landscape and a Württemberger wine? And even back then, many a wine was red. There's hardly another region that can boast as much red wine as here in Württemberg. Take, for example, the Trollinger, a real Württemberg speciality that is seldom found elsewhere in Germany. More than two-thirds of the vineyards here are planted with red grape varieties. Another speciality, the wine growers' cooperatives. There's an extraordinarily large number of co-ops here in Württemberg. Cooperatives are prevalent in Württemberg. Some 70% of the region's growers cultivate their vineyards in their spare time and don't make their own wines. They deliver their grapes to us and we process them, as well as make and market the wine. Württemberg has a lot to offer in terms of culture. The funeral chapel of King Wilhelm I and his wife Katharina, for example, on the heights overlooking the state capital in Stuttgart. This metropolis and the vineyards light cheek by jowl. On the city heights there are great views of the old town, weather permitting. And this is where the new and the old city palaces can be found in all their splendor. Not nearly as large, but in a picturesque setting, surrounded by vineyards, is the little town of Bersigheim, with its colorful half-timbered houses. Those looking for more action should head towards Martinsberg. Here you can take in the attractions of the amusement park Trips Trill at the foot of this vineyard site. In Württemberg, wine is simply part of everyday life. More wine is consumed here than anywhere else in Germany. The numbers speak for themselves. On average, every German consumes about 24 liters of wine annually. In Württemberg, it's an impressive 38 liters. 